so today we're gonna break a lobster. So, first of all, we start with the claws. Carefully take off the rubber bands. And then we're gonna carefully turn it and take it out. Turn it and take it out. We're gonna do the same thing with another one. Turn it and take it out. Right. Then, keep it aside. Then we take the main part of it. We're gonna stretch it out, but all liquid will come out a bit, so basically clean it. Stretch it out and carefully take it out. This part we don't have to use it because it's a bone. So basically, if it's good, clean, wash it before you take off the lobster. Same part with another one. Then we're gonna do for the main lobster. So this one we have to do tail, flatten it out. Carefully twist the tail. Carefully. You don't want to break the whole lobster out of it. Twist it, keep it aside. And then we're gonna keep this part aside of the head. We're gonna use it again. So first we're gonna take the tiny bits up from there. Just do it with the scissor. You can do it with your hand as well, but scissors are more efficient. As you see, take it all out. Then this you can generally take the meat out of it or either you can just use this for your sauce or the bisque Which is really delicious from all of this so Just gently take them all out But carefully wash it all Then You're gonna I'll show you how to break the carcass so gently Smash with the knife and turn it and twist it. It's better to use a blunt knife, otherwise your knife will be really in bad shape if you do this with your sharp knife. So I prefer to use the cheap knife or blunt knife where you don't have much of them. And then you can keep this aside for any shells to break. Same with another one. Or you can also do with the scissor, whatever you like, but I prefer to do with knife, it's much faster than scissor. So these two parts are separated, and then we're gonna keep the shells aside. Now I'm gonna show how to break the tail. Gently with your hands, both hands, just smash it in from both sides. And just release it, it's gonna release it itself. Just be careful that you don't break the tail out, because it's really the most expensive part of the lobster. You don't want to break it. If you break it, the whole thing is gonna be apart. Gently, you can also use scissors from the side if you want, whatever you like. But the main tradition is to do with the hand because it's more. You can feel it. Otherwise, scissors can make a hole in the tail or something like that. You can make might cut it off. There you go. Here you have a whole tail, and all the parts are basically ready. So this one, you're gonna just put four insertions, like four times with the scissor, up, down, left and right. I'm just gonna take it out. So here you go. Here you have another part to meet. Same with another one. So it's basically just four times insertions, or you can do three times, whatever is better for you, but minimum four times is much more easier to do with it. Then, just take it out carefully. There we go. So basically, you have a whole lobster meat with you. Don't throw the shells, you can make bisques. 